Ciao, benvenuti tutti. How are you today, loves? We're live, DWTD, dining with the diva. That's right, welcome. I thought today we would have a healthy spin because all the past weeks, <laughs> we've been doing some pretty high calorie, high carb laden and bakery goods. So I thought today, why don't we try it out and do a kale and pineapple smoothie. And I'm gonna show you this amazing uh, bean dish that Dr. Lars loves to eat as well. So I thought it would be great. We can use things that are in our freezer, in our pantry, and show you this fabulous smoothie. I'm gonna show you this today. If you hear some beautiful guitar music in the background, that's Dr. Lars noodling and playing. So we thought we would have the music in the background to see how it works. I know some people suggested we have his beautiful classical guitar in the background while I'm doing this with if my big voice, you can hear him. So let us know what you think. If you can hear it, great. If it's distracting or we'll just do a concert separately. Hi, Kim Stalker. How are you, sweetheart? This is very beautiful guitar music. I know we're very zen today. We're gonna go very meditative. This is a beautiful Spanish piece that Lars plays. So today, we're gonna make a smoothie. And of course, I'm gonna start blitzing it up in this fabulous Vitamix. So, you won't hear him for a few seconds. <laughs> but I thought, let's do a smoothie. Aren't smoothies fabulous? Hi, Richard Pyatt. Hi, Rick Love, how are you? I thought we we're gonna do a fabulous smoothie. I had some fabulous leftover chopped kale, organic. I had a pineapple I had to use. I have an organic apple I had to use. I have some fabulous coconut almond milk as well. And I have some frozen berry medley. This is a great way if you have kids to get them to eat some kale and spinach. Sorry, love, <coughs> I didn't have my water with me today. Mama Lamberti is taking a little lie down because she hasn't slept well. So I know it's hard. A lot of us aren't sleeping, so I thought let's do something healthy. It'd be fabulous. Hi, Kevin Thompson. Thanks for joining us today, sweetheart. Thanks. So it's our healthy kale day our healthy, beautiful, meditative day with Dr. Lars playing his beautiful guitar in the background. Let me know if you can hear it. Hi, Christina, how are you, sweetie? So, for our smoothie, what we're gonna start with, sweethearts, is some beautiful fresh pineapple that I have already cut up and chunked. See, Lovey's beautiful fresh pineapple. This is a Vitamix, but you can do it in a blender. Any blender will do a smoothie, it's not a problem. Or a Nutribullet, those are fabulous. I have one of those too, love them. But since my mom has this great Vitamix, I thought I'd use it. So some beautiful fresh pineapple, and I'm gonna use a few pieces of fresh apple. So you're getting all your vitamins in here, your fiber, it's fabulous. Then, a little bit of an almond coconut, unsweetened milk I use. If you wanna use almond milk, uh, you can use soy milk, regular milk, whatever you guys like. Also, it's great, add some protein powder to this if you have it. If you like whey protein, pea protein, whatever kind of proteins you have, make it into a meal. This is fantastic. Also, look loves, some fresh ginger. I had a knob of fresh ginger. I'm gonna put it in because ginger is great with kale and pineapple. Beautiful taste. Then loves, here's the kale. So you can sneak this in. This is this beautiful already wash, triple wash kale that I get at Aldi. So you can sneak this in. Now it'll be green, but a way to disguise the green is with the frozen berries. This is a beautiful um, unsweetened blackberry, blueberry, raspberry, strawberry mix frozen that I get at Aldi. Put that in, they'll never know it's in there. So I'm gonna start this up, sweethearts, just to try this. Sorry, Dr. Lars. <laughs> so we're gonna start it on low. And just start it out. There it is. It's like a jet engine. <laughs> there. Now you can hear Dr. Lars. Now I'm going to put some of the frozen berries. Hi, Cheryl. How are you, loves? You hear Dr. Lars in the back practicing? Here's some beautiful berries. This will make it really nice and colorful. It won't be as green, because if your kids don't like to have the green color, or if you don't like the green color, I love the green color, but it's a good way to get some berries in, for sure. Maybe a little bit of more uh, milk if you don't want it too thick. If you want a thinner smoothie, 
that's a great way to do it as well. It's gonna be sweet from the pineapple, so you won't have to add any sweetener or honey. I mean, you can if you wish. But another thing, since I don't have any bananas, frozen bananas are great to make this really creamy, almost like an ice cream shake. But I don't have any bananas. Bananas are hard to come by lately. So what you can do to make it smooth and to get your good fats in, here's this beautiful plain, listen. There it is, loves. Yes, bravo, more. So what I do is I put one half of a creamy avocado. My avocados are all ripening, of course. I got a bag, they're all ripening at once. So if you don't want to eat avocado toast and guacamole, this is a great way to get your good fats in. Put it in the smoothie, boom, one half of it, and it makes it really creamy and unctuous. It's fabulous. So I'm gonna, the jet engine's going on again, loves. Just bear with me. Bear with it. It's only gonna be a few seconds. Bear with it. playing on the day I'm doing the jet engine smoothie. Look, boom, it's kind of green. I mean, it could be a little bit, it's sort of purplish, brownish. <laughs> These aren't the most, you know, sometimes the pretty things. It's very thick though. So you might want to stir it up a little, just stir it up with whatever you have nearby. There we go, lovies. Just do a little stir up, boom. So let's try it. Here's this beautiful smoothie. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna try it out, loves. So what this was was fresh pineapple, kale. Hi, Janelle. We're making a really healthy smoothie because in the past weeks, I haven't been doing the most healthy. I mean, they're healthy, but they're not. There's butter, it's rice, it's carbs, it's stuffing, it's baked goods. So I thought, let's get back. It's spring. You know, we're out walking every day. The weather's beautiful. So why don't we get back to health? Let's have a smoothie. A beautiful way to get some kale in you. You can put fresh spinach in this. Let's try it. Mm. Yeah. It's the ginger. That knob of ginger makes it with the pineapple. Fantastic. It's fresh. It has that bite to it. That's the key. You want a really great smoothie? Put in some ginger. Sorry, it's really strong ginger. <laughs> it's fantastic. The avocado smooths it out. Delicious, has that bite to it, and ginger is so healthy for you. Great way to get your ginger in as well. So there's a great alternative. If you want a certain type of smoothie, throw whatever fruits you have in it, throw some vegetables, you can put in some celery, put in beets if you wish, that's very healthy as well. Fantastic smoothie, fabulous. So this is gonna go to Dr. Lars, we're gonna have a lot of smoothie left, so that'll be our fabulous lunch, sweethearts. So there's the smoothie. So now what I'm gonna show you, I'm just gonna clear this a bit. You can hear Dr. Lars in the background. That's it. There we go. You can still see me. I just put my tripod out. There it is. So lovies, I'm gonna do a really fabulous salad. What Dr. Lars and myself, we love garbanzo beans. I talked about beans. It's great to have in the pantry, especially now. You can buy beans at Aldi or anywhere in a can for 49 59 cents a can. You keep them, stock them up, they last for a long time. What we love to do is make a salad of beautiful, just washed and rinsed garbanzo beans right out of the can. These are from Aldi, I think they're 49 59 cents. Boom, right here, this is what I do. So I have those and I have a beautiful bit of fresh spinach and arugula that I, that I have. Often, Lars will just eat the garbanzo beans with olive oil, salt, pepper, and lemon juice. But I thought since I had the greens, why don't we incorporate some greens into it as well? What's also great with this salad, if you have fresh tomatoes, which I didn't have any, if you have any fresh vegetables, peppers, um, also put an avocado in it. What's also great, if you wanna really go sort of Italian-esque, put some tuna in it. Tuna, if you want a little more protein, tuna is fabulous in it. I thought I'd make a little bit of a dressing, so I'm just gonna start with a little bit of olive oil and a little bit of that fabulous mustard that I used. Hi, Annie Lynn. Hi, sweetheart. How are you? I just made a fabulous smoothie with kale and what I use? Kale, pineapple, ginger, a few frozen berries. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. That's fantastic. It's so good. Now I'm 
gonna use a little bit of our blue cheese mustard. Do you remember this from yesterday? I used it in our grilled cheese. So I'm gonna put a little mustard in for the dressing, a little olive oil, and a little lemon juice, sweethearts. I probably did this backwards, but that's okay. No worries, as long as you get it all in there. Whisk it all up. Boom, there we go, loves. You can put a little honey in this if you wanted, sweethearts. So this will just be the dressing for our salad. And if you have a little balsamic, put that in if you wish. Let's just get that all nice and emulsified. So what we're gonna do is put the garbanzo beans right in here. It's a very simple salad, sweethearts. I don't have a ton of fresh veg. I don't have tomatoes, which would be beautiful in here. Little cherry tomatoes cut up. Hi, Lisa, how are you? That's Dr. Large in the background playing, as you all know. <laughs> His beautiful guitar. And as you all know, I, um, thank you, Annie Lynn. Everyone loves your music, Amore. It's our beautiful, calm, zen, meditative day with very healthy, beautiful foods. Hi, Katie. Beans in. Now what I love to do is add a little bit of fresh spinach. I'm going rogue here because I know Lars will just eat it without, he'll just eat the beans and he loves them. But I thought, why not put some pretty arugula in it? I'm picking through it, guys, because, you know, sometimes if you see little... You know, if, if the arugula, when it's been packed together with the spinach, because sometimes a few little black, it doesn't mean it's bad, but just make sure you go through it, sweethearts, because that's how lettuce and those things are. So now what we're gonna do what is we're just gonna toss it in the dressing. And look at this, we have a beautiful arugula and spinach and chickpea salad. Add whatever you want to this, lovies. Add some fresh mozzarella cheese, add some tuna. I love tuna in salads, it's fantastic. And you have a great lunch. So just mix all that together like I'm doing here, sweethearts. You know, add some beautiful other vegetables if you'd like. Add some nuts, some almonds, walnuts, whatever you'd like, if you like that. You know, let your imagination run wild. Um, if you have things in the pantry you need to use up. Fantastic, see here we go, loves. Just a beautiful bean arugula salad. And what I'm gonna do, I have a beautiful half of that avocado. And what I do is I slice it like this. I mean, I'm very careful. What I do is slice it, boom. Slice it like this, cross. Keep your eyes on it. Then you take your spoon. You have to take the mustard spoon. And you go in and it has all the pieces will come out that loves to see. So boom, I'm gonna put that right into our salad. Beautiful. And beautiful healthy fat there I love avocados oh my god hi Christy how are you sweetheart thanks for joining us today loves so boom here we go loves a beautiful avocado spinach arugula and garbanzo bean salad very simple nothing too extreme here today loves. but very beautiful and healthy fantastic put a little more fresh cracked pepper on there and you have a great lunch it's fantastic What's also great is add a little honey to the dressing if you want it a little sweeter. So fabulous, you have this with a few crackers, have some tuna with it, have it with your smoothie. Very healthy, beautiful, beautiful meal. But I thought it would be fun to do a sort of a few days of healthy alternatives. Tomorrow, what I'm gonna show you is great. If you love cauliflower, if you love cauliflower rice, that's the big thing, people that are doing keto and paleo, cauliflower rice is it and I love it I get it frozen in bags but also I make it myself just with a fresh head of cauliflower and blitz it in the food processor and you have it so it's dry it's not as wet as the frozen but what's great is tomorrow I'm gonna show you how to make a cauliflower mushroom yes mushroom again <laughs> I love them cauliflower mushroom risotto with the cauliflower only no rice completely keto I'm gonna use stock, I'm gonna use some celery, some onion, the mushrooms, the cauliflower rice, add the stock, add the stock, add some cheese in at the end. I mean, yeah, it doesn't taste exactly like risotto, but really it's fantastic and you barely can tell the difference. I know I made it for Lars once, he thought it was fabulous. So tomorrow, tomorrow is cauliflower rice risotto with, uh, with mushrooms, it's gonna be fantastic. So I thought I would do a few healthy, uh, things just to show you guys different ways you know to cook and different things in your pantry you can use you can have a whole head of cauliflower it's you know fantastic you can use it for so much you can roast the whole head you can make cauliflower steaks and grill them I love cauliflower it's very healthy for you guys so that's what I'm gonna show you tomorrow sweethearts hi Bob hi Terry Ryan how are you sweethearts thanks for joining us today as you see the Sun is shining it's a gorgeous day 
and I'm being serenaded by Dr. Lars in the background. What better is, how, I mean, what's better than that, right, sweethearts, food, music? I mean, it's just stunning. I mean, ooh, fabuloso. I'm very, very blessed, very lucky. So here we go, loves, beautiful salad. Here we go for lunch. I may add a can of tuna to mine, I'm just gonna dump that in. Um, Lars doesn't like tuna as much, but I, I like it. He likes it, but I like it, really like it. <laughs> I love the Italian tuna, you know, the cento, you know, a little bit of olive oil, my fave, love it. So try these out. Let me know what smoothies you like to, to try. Just if you have a blender, it's fine. A Nutribullet works great. You don't need uh, a Vitamix. Vitamixes are great, but you don't, you don't need it. And then coming up also, we're going to show, I'm gonna show you my tomato soup coming up as well. And so much, there's so many things that are gonna be coming up. I'm gonna show you, sometime I'm gonna show you the lasagna once I can get my hands on the ground meat. So I'm gonna show you that, it's gonna be great. Hi Heather, how are you sweetheart? Thanks for joining us. We just did a fabulous healthy smoothie with kale and pineapple and berries and ginger and a beautiful spinach arugula and garbanzo bean salad with a mustardy vinaigrette. It's fabulous. So light and easy today, loves. Remember, if you have avocado, put it in your salads, put it in your smoothies. It's fantastic. And uh, I just want to say grazie mille a voi. Thank you so much for joining us today. I know it was a quick and easy, fast one today, lovies. Um, but I know we're both teaching a lot. Hi Antonello, ciao maestro, how are you sweetheart? So, grazie mille, thank you so much. So ci vediamo domani, I will see you tomorrow loves. And remember, subscribe to my channel if you haven't. It's Dining with the Diva. I will leave the information below. I'm trying to get to 250 subscribers. I'm up to 125. We're getting there. 250 is the next big goal sweetheart, so we're pushing for that. And I will be debuting that fabulous gown that my beautiful aunt and cousin had chosen and picked out for me. It's fabulous. Hi, Patricia. How are you, sweetheart? Um, and we're going to be doing a concert with that, but it'll be separate from the food so I can be in my, my gown and singing with, uh, with Lars and with uh, some accompaniment coming up. So that'll be, you know, Dining with the Diva nighttime. We'll do a nighttime concert. It might be fun. We'll try to set it all up uh, with the sound and everything. Hi, Carson. How are you, sweetheart? There's Dr. Lars in the background playing his beautiful music. So, grazie mille. Thank you so much, loves, for joining us today. And ci vediamo domani. Now, yes, thank you. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, sweetheart. Hi, Chloe. Everyone says, grazie mille, Dr. Lars. <laughs> He's playing away. <laughs> it's great. So thank you so much, sweethearts. Now you stay safe, stay put, stay cooking. Okay, Tanti Bacini. Ciao, ciao.